priming of centrifugal pump. When the pump casing and the suction conduit are completely filled with water, as the impeller rotates, the pressure at the pump suction site becomes lower than the atmospheric pressure. Due to this difference in pressure head between the water surface of the sump and the inlet of the pump, the atmospheric pressure pushes the water from the sump to the pump casing. However, an impeller running in the air would produce only a small head. This cannot create the necessary differential head of water between the sump and the pump inlet as the density of air is much less than that of water. Consequently, the pump does not do its work of pumping of water. Further, dry running of the pump may damage several parts of the pump. This is therefore necessary to ensure that the pump casing, impeller, suction pipe and the portion of the pump delivery pipe up to the delivery valve are always filled with water before the start of the pump. Filling is done by pouring water into the funnel or priming cup provided for this purpose. An air vent in the casing is provided for the air to escape. This air vent must be closed after filling. This filling process is called the priming of the pump. Most centrifugal pumps are not self-priming, so they always need priming. However, a one-way valve called foot valve is used at the entrance of the suction pipe, which keeps the suction conduit filled up even when the pump is stopped. Thus. When the pump is restarted, it does not need priming.